holidays. We have our apron on, we have our tea, we have our recipe, and today we are baking Christmas cookies. I'm so excited. I'm gonna make some crinkle cookies. These are my favorite cookies. I am a chocolate lover. My number one favorite dessert in the world is a fresh baked chocolate chip cookie right out of the oven, a little gooey and warm. That is just divine. And crinkle cookies are fabulous because they're extra chocolatey. The batter is chocolatey, you have the chocolate chips. So I'm really excited to make these. And we also are gonna make another recipe that I've never tried before. I feel like that's always fun, is to have your tried and true Christmas cookie recipe, but then try something new every year. See what else is out there. I need to show you a picture of what we're gonna attempt. It seems like level advanced baking. So we'll see how it turns out. How beautiful are these Neapolitan checkered cookies? Essentially, they're shortbreads, and you make a chocolate shortbread, vanilla, and strawberry shortbread batter, and then you weave it together to create the cookies. So we're gonna attempt that. We might not finish those until tomorrow because as I was reading the recipes late last night, I saw that it recommends overnight chilling of the batter in the assembled little checkerboards. So we might need to carry that into tomorrow, but that's good, no rush. And tonight I'm actually bringing these cookies to a cookie exchange. So I'll try to show you what other, others bring to the cookie exchange. It's at my friend Emily's home. So I'm really looking forward to that and trying all of the different cookies, but let's get to it. I <laughs> forgot to set out the butter this morning. So when I made the tea, I just set the butter next to the hot kettle and on the stove top grates and you know what it's working great it's already softening up quite a bit Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now we have to let it cool for a couple hours. I love to sprinkle some of the Smeldon sea salt flakes on pretty much every cookie I make. It just adds a nice little salty juxtaposition to the sweetness. Here's our taste tester. 
crinkle cookie taste tester. You See if it passed. Yeah, I love them. Delish. Hold my last one. <laughs> yeah, Palmer's sniffing. Like, hey, can I try? Confirm. Delish. Delicious. <laughs> There's like melty chocolate chips in there. Yum. Uh, we are two chocolate lovers for real. Yeah, those are really good. I just love how much moist but dense they are. Mm hmm And not overly sweet, even mm. though it's so decadent. Mm. And a little saltiness helps. Yeah, and the powdered sugar. It's the whole thing. And it just feels Christmassy. <laughs> <laughs> are complete. I did taste one and it's divine. I truly, again, can't stress how much I love them, but I am an avid chocolate lover. So I'm always going to gravitate towards anything chocolatey and this is chocolate and then some. So it's perfect for me. And now it's time to get started on our Neapolitan checkerboard cookies. Essentially, I'm gonna be making three different shortbread batters. So we have the vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry and then we're gonna let them chill for a bit and then we're gonna make the checkerboard pattern. And I believe the purpose of chilling overnight is so that the pattern doesn't sort of melt together if the dough was hot. That's just me hypothesizing, so I could be different. I, it could be different, but I'm excited. It's definitely a, a little intimidating because of the complexity of the pattern, but I love shortbread cookies, so I'm also excited to taste a bite of all those three flavors at once. I feel like that's unique. Vanilla shortbread is done. Now two more to go. Strawberry shortbread is complete. It's beautiful. And now we only have one more to go. Last but not least, chocolate is complete. Now things are gonna get crazy and we're gonna try to shape them into the checkerboard vision.
is the tail end of the weekend. We did our fair share of baking. I ended up finishing the Neo Polish and shortbread cookies yesterday and taking them to a game night we had with friends. I like how they turned out. Of course, they are not nearly as, well, they, they look okay. Um, the inspo picture from the baker on the recipe obviously looked a whole other level, but they turned out good and they were tasty. They're nothing like the crinkle cookies where I'm like, oh my goodness, that's the most delicious thing ever. But they're tasty. And here's our cookie platter from the cookie swap the other night. We have a Mexican sweet bread. Very yummy. And then we have some macadamia nut cookies, oatmeal raisin, chocolate chip, big chocolate chip one, the Pillsbury classic Christmas cutie pie cookies. And then the Neapolitan ones, coconut macaroon, very delicious with some chocolate on the bottom. And these are one of my favorites as well. Oh, I'm forgetting what they're called. They're the peanut butter ones. And then my friend Amanda put a dark chocolate Hershey's Kiss on top. These have a name. I don't remember. I'm sure some of you will know and comment it down below. And then we have a couple crinkle cookies left. So we have been nibbling on that and that has been wonderful. It's truly been such a rainy, windy weekend. It hasn't rained today, but yesterday it truly rained all day and it was a heavy rain. So the garden should be very happy and yeah, I'll need to adjust our outdoor furniture and stuff because the wind has just been nonstop. But it's it's been enjoyable at least for us because we didn't have any outdoor plans this weekend. So yesterday I spent a lot of time cuddled on the couch, cuddled on the outdoor couch, and just enjoying the sound of the rain, watching Christmas movies, and started a new book. So really thankful for the cozy times and the fun times baking some cookies. I really hope you all are having a beautiful Christmas season, and I'm excited to see you next. I should have one more video before Christmas, and looking forward to it. Bye!